so today we are heading to Santon Sportsman, <laughs> Sportsman's Warehouse where we are going to check out their Run ID technology. Alright guys, so we are here with Kakisa. She works for, for Sports and Swearers and what we're gonna do is now we're gonna do a run ID. So on the run ID we can do two types of tests. One where we're gonna walk barefoot or one where we're gonna wear our shoe and that's gonna give us an indication of how we walk, where our pressure points are and then from that they can make a suggestion on what type of shoe is the best for us to wear or what type of insole we can use in our shoe to help us with our gait and our, our alignment. Over there, you've got a, a camera that takes video from the front. And this, this whole pad over there is, is like a pressure sensing pad. And that's gonna give us the pattern of where the pressure is on our foot or in the shoe and what is gonna be the solution to proper gait. And if you have proper gait and proper form, you can minimize your risk for injury. So let's do the test and see what comes out of it. And here's Matt. What's up Matt? You're on YouTube now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Matt is the guy that usually makes everything happen that you see. How's it Matt? <laughs> sure, hello TV. How All right. <laughs> he's always He's always up to something. So he's busy. You can walk now. Participate in running or outdoor? I'm running. I will do running. Yeah, so that was uh, the test. So I walk now. It seems now I'm walking, and it's now right now it's busy analyzing what it, the information that it received, and we're going to see now where the pressure is on my foot. So let's try it. Okay, so there you can see. Here's my walk. Slide it this way. Okay. So you look like pronating a bit. Okay. And you have a very high arch. Yes, yes. I've got a, so I've got a very high arch and it looks like I'm pronating. That means that I'm moving inwards with my foot, so my foot is falling to the inside. Yes. Alright. Okay. So I'll start with the VF analysis of which it's form, force and function. Okay. So on form we check your arch, of which it's a high arch, meaning that there's no pressure point to the midfoot. Yes. And then your forefoot looks broader. Uh-huh. So we'll do an imaginary line, which shows that your toe is over the line. Yes. So I'll say your forefoot is wide. Okay. And then on foot, it's a very high pressure point. Okay. And then why I can't pick here because there's no pressure point. Okay. So it's high pressure also okay. on the midfoot. On the forefoot, sorry. Okay. And then now we check your gait. For which is a decentralized beginning. Okay. As you strike, you strike a bit on the inside, but we pull out. Same okay. thing here. So I have a decentralized gait, which means that my heel is falling in. Like in terms of your heel strike. Yes. Okay. All right. But then and then it rolls over the big toe. Over and okay. the one. Yes. And then there. It recommends a new culture. Why it's recommending a new culture yeah. is because I can pick options on the midfoot because there's no pressure. There's no pressure. Point. There. But looking at this, I recommend a stable shoe. Yes. Because your gait change shows that there's a bit of rolling. So on the uh, anti pronation shoe would be what I what I need to look at. Yes. Okay. And then it must have a torsion joint issue. Can you give me one shoe there? Okay. So I'll explain the outside property. Okay. So the torsion joyful shoe, it's the front part of the shoe with the goal of eight to help you use all your toes as you are running okay. or walking okay. without a bending line, meaning the shoe must be a bit rigid around the forefoot, okay. midfoot bridge to give you arch support. Yes. And then less narrow because you have a high arch, yeah. so you need extra support on the arch. On the arch. Side. Okay. And then chamfered heel to prolong your height, so you can see with the shoes not straight over yes. there. So as you're striking, it's going to be 
Okay. And then the Nikon, you can see that they pull to the yes, here, yes, that's yes. the chamfered heel. Oh, okay. And then medium heel cap to give you ankle support. Of course, yeah. Local cushioning should be around the heels because that's why there's a lot of pressure. Okay. And then toe box must be wide because your four foot looks a bit wide. Yes. That's about it. Okay, so basically, I need a shoe with a lot of support in the heel <laughs> or cushioning support around the middle of the shoe to stop the rolling. Yeah. And then also a torsion joyful shoe. It means that I it can bend in the front so that I can use the toe walk. Is that right? Yeah. And then a wide toe walk because I could look quite look wide, look yeah. broad. Okay. My turn. So it's time for a test. Are you also gonna do? Uh, he's gonna keep his socks on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That was really valuable information that I got from my test and I do feel that making choices based on something like this is really really important especially if you are a long distance runner. Sorry? You'll have to enter your details ah, first. So you can He's over eager. <laughs> okay. Alright, so now after the test, Sportsman's Warehouse sends me an email with my report of what they found and what shoe they recommend for me to go buy and that's really nice because now I can print that and I can go to a sports and warehouse branch wherever you are and you can make an educated choice on the shoes that you are going to run with. Just walk a bit faster. So again the choice what sport do you participate in? Are you a runner or do you do outdoor sports? Would the outdoor sports be like show running, a bit of hiking, okay. Yeah, CrossFit, I prefer, yeah. things, CrossFit, all that. I, see, I prefer hiking with my wife, so, it's so put it on. should I remove it from running? Yeah, can you? Yeah, I can. So there's your own video. And as you can see on the side there, it shows live view of the where the pressure goes as he walks. There's the pressure. That's really good. Cool. rotation. Pause this, so this is your foot. Okay. We'll start the You have a rest of my toes. <laughs> You're not using them? I'm <laughs> oh, not using them. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're you you guys. Okay, so it's a normal arch. Okay. And then your forefoot does. You see? It's not broad. So it's narrow. Okay. And then force, it's normal pressure. Yes. Normal pressure on the midfoot. And then a bit of a high pressure point on the forefoot. On the, on the front. Okay. But here it's normal pressure. Right. And then on function, also you're striking a bit on the, on the inside, on, the heel. on your left. On you the left, more on the left. Yes. Okay. And then it rolls out as normal and rolling. Okay. But here it's normal, but there's a slight rolling on the inside. Okay. So I'll pick over pronation and rolling and it rolls out. Is this on his right foot, the, the rolling one is left foot? The rolling one is the right. It's on the right side. What's again, this, which side is your hip injury? On the right side. It's on the right side. So, so there you can see already, because he has a hip injury, you can, you can pick up on the, on the gate that he's changed his pressure on his foot. So for him, it's going to be really important to make the right decision when buying a shoe. So for you, it says we recommend a stable shoe with the following properties. So that stable shoe can be a neutral shoe, but a neutral shoe that is rigid. Okay. Because one foot is rolling on the inside, the other one is normal. Yeah. So also, it must have a torsion joyful shoe to help you propel going forward. Okay. And the roll of eight to help yes. you use also your toes. My toes, I'm not using. Some of them are not I'm dominant losing efficiency. I'm yeah. walking. <laughs> Working and also cylinders. using your toes helps split the pressure yeah, okay. and then without a bending line meaning the shoe must be rigid around the whole foot okay. mid foot bridge to give you arch support yes. chamfered heel to prolong your heel strike okay. and then for you it says little heel lift little heel lift is <clears throat> the difference in millimeters where your heel is sitting towards your whole foot in a okay. shoe so your foot is sitting like this in a shoe. Yeah. So you can see the third part it says like nine mil heel to four drop. Yeah. So the difference would be nine mil between the forefoot and the heel. In the back. Okay. So but before something. recommending a little heel lift, it would be determined by the previous shoes that you were wearing because okay. you might get problems changing quickly. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Like in the Achilles. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Even shin splints. So oh, in the front. Yeah. Okay. So. 
The other one would be the medium. He'll have to give you ankle support. Ah, just a little bit of a brace in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she definitely knows her stuff. And it's really cool that we now actually saw that back with someone new Yuan, who has an injury. That you can actually see that. Yeah. Right. yeah, I didn't tell her anything before. So. Nothing, yeah. So I know about it, but um, she didn't and immediately we saw that. So that shows the importance of rehabilitation because you can eliminate stuff like that. And if you've had a knee injury or any injury on from your hips down, you must come and do a run ID or speak to Kakisu at Santon Sports and Warehouse and get her to test you so that you can make an educated decision on your running shoes so that you can enjoy running and have fun with running and not injure yourself and then get discouraged and you stop your activity. So we're going to try and get our producer Matt to do a test as well and we're going to put him on a video. So before I say bye bye, let's see if he wants to do a test as well. We definitely need to do this. All right, Matt. No Matt, pressure, man. You, you, you've got a camera on camera. Oh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so guys, Matt is really scared of, 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 of a camera. He likes being behind the camera, but today he's also going to join us with a run ID and we're going to see what he does. So Matt was inactive for quite some time and he, he started running recently. Um, he's doing trail runs. I mean, we just spoke about his shoes and he's made other shoe choices and he's happy with with what he's wearing now and we're going to see if his test shows whether what he's wearing and whether Kahiso says it's it's right for him or not and um, it's going to be interesting but this is now someone that went from a not an active lifestyle to living an active lifestyle and started running um, never ran before so we're going to see what we get from him You guys can send me what you got as well. It's outdoor. Who runs indoors? <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Silly. Silly. Only in lockdown. Only, uh, only outdoors. Okay. So that is here. Yeah. And turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you take that and then you can see. So there's Matt's strike. It looks like he walks more on the one foot for longer. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. This one, my hip is worse on the left. On the, on the left. Side, yeah. So there you can see again. Over here, there's a slight delay. Yeah. You can yeah. see over here you compared to the right. Yeah, so because of my hip on that side. And no, this. this is your hip, that's your right. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that uses the brain. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> so it's now it's the right way. This is the right, this is the left. Because you're coming this way. You're flipping this way. So yeah. See, it's very confusing because I put my socks on the wrong way. Socks on the wrong way. That's 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 that's, that's confusing. <laughs> the left way, the right way. Yeah. On the left, you have a normal arch. On the right, it's a high arch. Oh, oh, that's not. That makes a lot of sense. And then your forefoot is not wide; it's narrow. Yeah, I know that bit. <laughs> and then on force, your your pressure's going a bit on the inside on the heel only so it will be a decentralized but high load because there's a lot of redness it's high pressure points we can't pick this side because you have a high arch so we'll only be able to pick on your left foot of which it's going to be normal pressure yes also here you can see that your pressure is moving like you're supinating in a way yep so it will be decentralized and then no more pressure on the other methods. And then on function, your gait line is straight, it rolls out as normal and rolling. Same thing here. And then there, it recommends a neutral shoe. A neutral shoe? Yes. Perfect, that's what I have. So now we can fire a shoe measurement with your shoes. You can walk inside. Okay. All right, cool. So we've picked up Matt has a, the right side's got a low arch. Oh, the right side has the high arch. Okay, right side has the high arch yeah. and the left side has a low arch. And he also uh, struggles a bit with his one hip. Um, and the shoe that's going to help him is a neutral shoe. So now we're going to do a test with his shoe and we're going to see how the pressure point looks after him walking in the shoe. 
The shoe is pushing you to supination on your lip. <gasps> I'll compare <laughs> the foot and the shoe. Of which it's not that bad. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so you can see that there's no high pressure point yeah. on yeah. the forefoot. But it's only here of which it's pushing you to supination. Okay. But you must remember that I think there's that's no shoe that well. is perfect. Yeah, yeah. But I also think that's my hip. Yeah, I think it's, it's my hip. Yeah. It's because I'm pressing on this one to avoid. Yeah, it's hip over here. Yeah. Well, that's... So the lift. Yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was our video and that was really, really informative. So check out Sports and Swearhouse in Santon. They've got the run ID test. Come and do it and get yourself sorted. Thank you so much, Kahisu, once again. Okay. There's your one at the back. Bye-bye. Um, Matt, thank you guys so much for joining. And until next time, remember Edison, Medi Edison, Edison, who's Edison? Medicine, exercise is medicine. So keep moving. Bye. <laughs>